organize it and coined every single Friday except for three Fridays when I went to go and start up a group in uh, Birch Hills so that way they would get a Friday's future Birch Hills group going and so yeah every single Friday I've been striking since March 12th to March 15th. Um, why are you so committed to striking? What, like, kind of a dumb question. It probably ties into everything you said already, but... My life is on the line. Why would I not care about other people as well? I am watching, like, maybe it is just through a computer screen that I'm watching people die from the climate crisis worldwide. I'm watching Pacific nations around Australia beg them to please stop breaking coal. I am watching people worldwide face world hunger and having to migrate because of the climate crisis that is striking them. I am seeing people die and I do not want that to happen to people around me. I do not want that to happen to me. I do not want that to happen to Canada. And even though Canada will be last, one of the last few places hit, it should not hit anywhere at all. Um, do you feel like this is having an impact? Like the on make you, I guess, change from the top where, you know, I don't want to say that people don't have power, but we don't see a lot of politicians in the crowd. Or, you know. Maybe not here in Regina. We have not gone to that point quite yet, but hopefully we will. However, you're looking at how did the strikes first start in Europe? How did the strikes, how are the strikes going in Australia? How are the strikes going in South America? How are the strikes going in Africa? How are the strikes going on around the world? And you're looking at the change that's bringing. You're finding that even a strike as small as this, that our numbers add up just this past Friday, add up the numbers go to, to between four to five million students stri uh, striked worldwide. And so, yeah, here in Regina, we had only between 500 to 800 people. But added up worldwide, we had 5 million people striking. And that is a powerful movement. And that is a movement that is worldwide, global, on every single co continent, even Antarctica. This is the biggest mass movement of people in world history. But I also know that I'm. Um, is there anything else you want to say? I might be out of questions for the moment. <laughs> every single place, every single business, every single person can do their best to declare a kind emergency themselves. Businesses around the world, even news media agencies, are declaring climate emergency declarations and they are joined together to swear that they will always tell the truth and they will report the news. And so they will do especially focusing on climate change and its effects so that way people are actually understanding what's happening. Because if you're looking back at World War II, the kind of mobilization we did to change our society for the better, to make it so that we could actually meet the threat of the Nazis, we need that kind of mobilization now. And back then, every single day, the media reported on on what was happening with the war effort. We need every single person, we need every single news media agency doing that. We need everyone going down to the very toughest, like, personal actions of even making up a victory garden, doing every single thing they possibly can. We need to both maintain hope and we need to panic and fear for our future, because those were the two things that happened back then, is that people always maintained that we would defeat the Nazis, and at the same time, they knew that we always needed to make sure that we need to stay on top of it, we need to keep acting, we can never like take a date off sort of thing because our lives were in danger back then and our lives are in danger now. The war on climate change. It is. So there may not be people who maybe they are misinformed, maybe they just don't understand why it matters to change our industries, just how people didn't used to understand about tobacco, about its effects, how they tried to cover it up because they wanted profits and they didn't always believe that it was causing negative health effects but right now the climate crisis is killing people and we need to treat it just like we treat tobacco we need to treat it just like we did the Nuremberg trials even and we need to make sure that people are held accountable for things that hurt other people because human rights never come after like never come after anything human rights should always be foremost on the agenda human rights should be foremost in everything that we do